Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shannon Doyle Briscoe. And today, we're going to be covering Psalm 60 through 62 and Romans 5. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Urgent prayers for the restored favor of God. To the chief musicians, set to Lily of the Testimony, a Mechum of David for teaching when he fought against Mesopotamia and Syria of Zobah and Joab returned and killed 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. Psalm 60. O oh God, you have cast us off. You have broken us down. You have been displeased. Oh, restore us again. You have made the earth tremble. You have broken it. Heal its breaches, for it is shaking. You have shown your people hard things. You have made us drink the wine of confusion. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth, that your beloved may be delivered. Say with your right hand, and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shisham and measure out the valley of Sakwa. Galilee is mine, and Manesh is mine. Ephraim also is the helm of my head. Judea is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast my shoe. Philistia, shout in triumph because of me. Who will bring me to the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God, who cast us off? Are you, O God, who did not go out with our armies. Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Through God we will do validity, for it is he who shall tread down our enemies. Assurance of God's eternal protection to the chief musician on a Stringed instrument of Psalm of David, Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life. He, his years are many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So I will sing praises to your name forever that I may daily perform my vows. A calm resolve to wait for the salvation of God to the chief musicians to Junuda, a psalm of David, Psalm 62. Truly my soul silent waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack a man? You 
shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless their mouths, by, but they curse inwardly. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times. You people, pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are a vapor. Men of high degree are a lie. If they are weighed on the scale, they are altogether lighter than vapor. Do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this. That power belongs to God. Also to you, O Lord, belongs mercy. For you render to each one according to his work. That was Psalms 60 through 62. Now we will be turning to Romans 5. Faith Tramps in Trouble. Romans 5. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into the, this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation proceeds perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. Christ in our place. For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrated his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, much more than having no, no, much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled we have shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the, the reconciliation, death in Adam, life in Christ. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men because all sinned for until the law sin was in the world but sin is not imputed when there is no law nevertheless death reigned from Adam to Moses even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgressions of Adam who is a type of him who was to come. But the free gift 
is not like the offense. For if by the one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like that which come through the one who sinned. For the judgment which came from the one offense resulted in condemnation, but the free gift which comes from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who received abundance of grace and one and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as though through one man's offense judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to all men resulting in justification of life. Now for as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. Moreover, the law in, entered that the offense might be abound by where sin abound, grace abound, much more. So, that is, that as a sin reigned in death, over to grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that was Romans 5, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Psalms 63 through 65 and Romans 6. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. This has been Shenandoah Briscoe, your messenger of the word of God, saying thank you ever so much. And, you know, as always, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow, because God willing will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.